I'll be showing the new AI powered Reading Coach, which is now standalone. Reading Coach is our free fluency app and it's in the web and in Windows. Using AI, students can generate their own chapters and practice reading out loud, and Reading Coach will give them feedback as well as achievements and awards. Students can also pick which direction the story goes so they get to create their own stories. So let's get started. Now that Reading Coach is generally available, there are a few different places that you can find it and launch it. The first one is sign in as your educator or a student with your school account, like I am here, and you sign in at microsoft365.com or office.com, and you just click the apps button right here, and it takes you to all the apps. You can also get here through the waffle and choose more apps. Now on the productivity tab right here, you can see if I scroll down, Reading Coach is available. I can even hit the three dot menu and pin it, and now it's pinned over on the left. If I filter on education apps, same thing, you can see Reading Coach is here. If you're an educator or a student, this is available everywhere. It also works for your consumer accounts. I'm signed in with my Outlook.com account, and the same thing if I go to apps, this is for consumers or parents at home, you can see that Reading Coach is available right here for all consumer accounts. And the last way is the way that has always existed. This is at coach.microsoft.com. You can see this beautiful landing page that explains all about Reading Coach. We have it for learners, information about parents and educators, and there's an educator community. You can just click get started here and you can sign in with your consumer account or your school account. We also have a Windows app for Reading Coach and I'll show that at the end of this video. I'll switch back to my student account and I'm going to click Reading Coach right here. This is the one that I pinned. And here is the home screen for a brand new Reading Coach account. You can create a story using AI. I'll show that in just a moment. You can read a passage from our library. I'll show that as well. Or you can paste your own passage and read anything you want. We also have the new option of reading streaks. This keeps it really fun. And there are achievements and progress and I'll show all those things in just a little bit. Let's get started quickly and we'll create a story using AI. The first thing you'll do is choose a character and you can see lots of different animals here. We've also added the new unlocking characters. So these are all unlockable. If I click on monkey, oh, I have to read for 20 minutes before I can unlock these characters. We make it a little bit more fun. You can also choose things like fantasy or science fiction. So you can choose all sorts of different characters. Now I'm gonna choose as my first one, a dog. The next is choose the setting. Now you can see there's different settings here and there's also ones that I can unlock if I read for 20 minutes or more. Now before we get going, another feature I'll show briefly is we've added language support. So in the upper right, let's say I wanna read in a different language. My browser is set to English by default, but I can click here and there's a bunch of different languages. So Reading Coach is gonna to listen to me read out loud in any of these different languages I choose. I might be in Great Britain, I choose English in Great Britain, or Australia, or the Philippines. There are also languages like Spanish, German, French, Dutch, Swedish, and more. We're going to be adding more languages in the near future so you can check back. I'm gonna close this and we'll just leave it at English. The other update we've added with global availability of Reading Coach is support for different languages in the browser. And I'm gonna show this briefly because I know there's a lot of people out there who wanna practice in different languages or who aren't having English as their default language. I'll go to the three dot menu in Edge and you can also do this in Chrome and go to settings, then go to languages. Now I'm gonna set my preferred language. So in this case, I'm gonna add another language and I'll scroll down and add Spanish and click add. Now I'll go to the three dot menu and I'll say display Edge in this language and I'll hit restart. Now Edge is in Spanish and I'm gonna switch back to Reading Coach and look at this, everything is now in Spanish. So if I create my story in AI, now you can see the language is set to Spanish. So my browser language is all in Spanish and by default, it will listen to me read out loud in Spanish. We actually support over 80 different browser languages. So you can change your browser language and these things will update. We only support 14 languages for reading out loud, but we're gonna add more soon. And I'm gonna flip back to English really quick. We'll finish off choosing the setting. We'll do dogs in space. And then you can choose the reading level. There are eight different levels to choose from. Now, if you're not sure which level is right for you, you can even click which level is right for me and it gives you an example. So I've got level two here. I can go and click, oh, there's a level two example, level one versus level three. So you can experiment and you can get more info and then you can choose. So I will choose level three and now it's gonna create my story when I click create my story. So dogs in space. We're using AI to create this story and there's a dialogue. When you're ready to read out loud, you can start or you say, hey, maybe I'm not ready yet. And I will choose start reading. 
Now, just to note, the background is the immersive reader technology. And after we get through the first chapter, I'm going to show how you can change the background and everything else to customize how you want to read out loud. But I'm just going to keep it simple and I will click start reading. So here's a countdown and now it's going to listen to me read. Maggie was a brave little dog that lived on a spaceship. She loved to explore new worlds and meet new friends. Now I'm just going to speed ahead and we'll get to the end of this. Now I'm done reading this chapter. You can see chapter one here and I will click stop. What's really cool is this is the AI choose your own adventure or pick a path option. I get to choose what happens next in the story. So in this case, we're going to choose Maggie's discovery. It's going to create me a new chapter. Now AI has created the chapter. You can see in the upper left, it says chapter two. I'm not ready to read yet, so I'm going to click not yet. Now I'm going to go to the page and we're going to drop down text preferences and using some of the immersive reader technology, we'll change the font. I will change to a blue background. Maybe I'm going to make the font a little bit bigger and I feel pretty good about that. I could also go and do things like line focus if I wanted to. I'm not going to do that right now. You can turn the picture dictionary on or off or even grammar options, breaking words into syllables or highlighting nouns, all the things that you can do with immersive reader already. But in this case, I've got my background set and now I just go to the little microphone and click start reading and then go here. Now I'm just going to speed through this just for the purpose of this demo, but imagine that I've been reading out loud, get the countdown again, and we'll finish this up. Now at the bottom, I'll click stop reading. Okay, so I finished my story, and in this case, I want to see my results. I've got pronunciation accuracy of only 6%. That's because I didn't really read out loud very much. It shows that I've read for one minute, and here are the words to practice because Reading Coach has been listening to me read out loud. Now I can do my practice words. So I'll click practice words to go right into Reading Coach. These words were the most challenging for you. Select any word to tackle them again. Okay, so I've got my five words here. I'll click the first one, while. So now I can practice each word that I mispronounced. I can hear it. While. Now this doesn't have multiple syllables, but if I had multiple syllables, I could stretch it. I'll show that in a second. And I'm going to click the microphone. While. Your effort is shown. Got that one right. All right. I will click next word. Found. Found. Okay, doing good. So anyways, you get the idea. Here's a multiple syllable word. I can stretch this word like this. I can practice. And when I'm done, I can go back and forwards, but I'm going to go back here. And these are the words that I've gotten right. So I got this green star, green star. If I mispronounce words, that would be red. If I got it partially right, it would be a yellow star. But the nice part is, is I take these practice words and reading coach will automatically integrate the words I struggled with into the next chapters. So in this case, I'll click I'm done. And maybe I want to read that again, or maybe I want to jump right back in and read the next chapter. So I didn't finish chapter two. In this case, I could go back and start reading again and practicing. So it keeps track of where I've been reading. What I'm going to do next is switch over to an account that has done a bunch of different readings so I can show some of the other features of Reading Coach. Okay, I'm signed into my other account and I've got more minutes that I've read. I've got a two day reading streak. Now it says read tomorrow for a three day badge. So you'll get a cool badge if you read for three days or more in a row. Now going to my progress, there are a bunch of new features in here. You can see the total reading time, readings completed, my average accuracy, and my correct words per minute. And this shows all time reading. I could do the last 30 days. It'll just filter on those or my reading streak. So I've got a two day reading streak. You can see last 30 days or all time. All my achievements are listed. So high accuracy, first timer, 100% accuracy. So lots of fun achievements. If you want to see all of them, you go in here. Here's the one I had in January. I had some other ones back in May. I'll hit back. And then down below, you've got the different stories that you've done. And I can see all of my stories. So I've got a bunch of stories the last seven days, some earlier stories. And any of these, I can jump right back in. So if I want to jump in here, it asks me about the next chapter. It's going to generate the wicked witches scheme. I can go in here and it'll go right back to where it was going. It's going to generate the next chapter. This is a rabbit with the mountain and I'm not going to read right now. We'll hit back. They can also read stories that they've completed. So here's a couple of stories that were already completed. 
you can still choose to read those again. So we'll hit the back button and leave my history and my stories. Now the last thing I'll show are the progress charts that are made. In this one, I'm gonna click reading time and you're gonna see the number of minutes that you read. You can see all time, you can see the last 30 days or your reading streaks. So some really nice progress charts. If I go into readings completed, some nice little progress charts as well. My accuracy, so if I wanna track my accuracy getting better over time, hopefully, that's there. And then the last one are the correct words per minute. So this is your reading speed. So we've added all these nice little progress components into the progress tab. Now I'll click home to go back to the home tab. The last parts of Reading Coach I'll show are the passages in our library. So we have some baked in passages that students can choose from. In this case, they're all different levels and these come from ReadWorks, which is a nonprofit that we partner with to make these passages available. These are only available in English today. We're working on making Spanish available for these same ReadWorks passages in the future. So unfortunately, we don't support other languages besides English and then in the near future, Spanish. But these are great to have some nice example passages from ReadWorks. You can see down at the bottom right here if you wanna learn more about ReadWorks. But these are just existing passages. They don't use AI to create, but they are from this well-regarded nonprofit called ReadWorks. And I'll hit the back button. And then lastly, you can add your own passage. So in this case, I'm gonna open this up. I can give it a title and a passage. I've put that in there. A little note, you can change the language detection right here. So if I click English and I want it to detect my reading in a different language, got all the different options here. And then I hit next and I get the same countdown and the same ability to start reading and the same reading coach features that you've seen before. So you've got multiple options. You can create a story using AI, you can read a passage from our library and ReadWorks, or you can add your own passage. We also support Reading Coach as a Windows app. So I will open the Microsoft Store here. I'm here in the store and I'm gonna search for Reading Coach. And here's the app right here. We'll go in and click it. And you can install the app. I've already installed it, so I will choose to open it. Here's my Reading Coach app. This looks just like the one that you saw before. Everything looks the same. I can go and do everything I want, but it's now a reading app in Windows. I can also pin this to my taskbar if I want. This is what we have in January of 2025. Later this year, we'll be adding the ability to integrate with learning management systems like Canvas and Schoology and others, and we'll also allow educators to make reading coach assignments that are outside of Teams if they're using either learning management systems or even standalone on their own. So stay tuned for that later this year. If you wanna keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.